Right, good evening, this is uh, Mr. Ronco. So I'm going to do this brief talk about um, running your own business from scratch and so on. So, in principle, when a business uh, comes to picture, you're either providing a service or selling a product at a price a consumer is most likely to pay in exchange for value for money as per you, the, um, the, the, the business owner providing a service to your client. Now you can either have a, a, an external customer or you can have a client uh, based um, scenario. So the client based scenario could be me providing a service to say Samsung and Samsung providing that service to say Vodafone or EE or anything like that. Now, when it comes to the scenario, there are various factors involved. So the factors of production include land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship as we all know it. However, that being said, when it comes to the business cost, you want to take into account your energy bill, uh, the cost of materials, and also the cost of manpower, and also rent, and your water bills. And when it comes to the business as well, you have low risk, medium risk, and high risk. So depending on what level you fall into, yeah, uh, depending on the, the what, what kind of risk is involved and so on. So you also have a limited liability company where the liabilities are limited, like you all know, or reduced. And you have a, a limited um, and also a sole trading uh, scenario where it's just a sole trader doing his thing as a uh, sole owner. So they both have their advantages and disadvantages, which I'm not going to go into in detail just yet. But yeah, so before I go into a business or providing a service, I need to establish what would be the motive or reason for a customer to want the product I am offering to sell or the service I am providing? And also, how as a business owner will I make and support business growth that once I've established my first footing as um, either a service provider or a producer of a good of some sort. And also, I need to also establish my payback time and how to work towards it gradually. Because, thank you, believe it or not, I believe you all know that there will always be some cost to the business that would you can only re re recoup, as they say, over the course of time. And also, how I also need to establish how I will make sure what I'm offering to sell, what I produce, stands out from what others are producing. Because when I go to the shops, I need to ask myself, why will I buy this piece of soap and not that one, and not that one, and not that one? Why would I buy this jar of cosmetics, say body cream, and not that one, and not that one, and not that one. What would I offer the customer that other um, manufacturers will not offer the customer that will make me stand out? I need to put that into take that into account. And also, once I establish my production line, am I going to go into it full swing, or am I going to do it part time and build it over the course of time? From my own personal perspective, I think, I believe it's worthwhile to just start small and then build it over the course of time whilst holding a regular job and so on. And that's just what I think because um, it's always easier to, <clears throat> to market something and to earn uh, money when you don't come across as desperate, you don't come across as frantic, and you don't come across as 
somebody who must sell at all costs in the sense of the word. So there's that as well. And also you also have the time and chance to uh, build on an outcome as to the quality of what you do over the course of time and build at a, at a pace that is sustainable. And you also have to take into account that we live in an ever-changing world where um, a war in the Middle East or whatever it is can affect the supply chain or something. So you have to factor that into the picture, although we pray for peace and we hope for peace and so on. So there's that as well. And there's also the fact that if you're building things gradually, it's easier to to um, to evolve over the course of time than trying to do things in chunks. So you make 10, maybe 10 bottles of body cream now, and then you build it over the course of time or whatever it is. So there's that one. So, um, and also salaries as well. You want to earn, you, want to, you, you also want to pay yourself a salary at some point, but between now and then, you have to make sure that everything just makes sense. Like assuming I make um, I make something and it costs me about three pounds to make it, and I sell that something that cost me three pounds to make, I sell it for six pounds. Literally, it looks as if I have a three pound profit, but I'm not gonna say that I have a three pound profit yet until I won't say I have a three pound profit because I'm going to subtract sorry my uh, business costs from whatever I make off that, uh, that 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 commodity, and then gradually I can then put money aside bit by bit and say this is the profit. And once it grows, then it grows for definite. So apart from that, everything is a process and everything is a step in time. Now the beauty of doing a business or making something and selling something is that you know that you have made this thing, you know that you have put everything you need to put into place for it to be made and so on. And just before, just one more thing I say that just before we make something, we need to establish what do we know about this thing we want to make and do some research so that when we're making what we're making, it comes out standard. It comes out something that people will be dying dying to buy or craving to buy. So, yeah. And the good news again is that with the online, with the, with the world being the global village, and with Shopify and various platforms, it's easier to build on uh, what you call build your customer service base and so on. So that being said, that's my presentation on the entrepreneur's journey. I hope it makes sense and I hope it's a blessing. In the meantime, I'll speak to you and uh, catch up with you later. Spirit of God bless, Yahweh bless, and Yeshua bless us always. Amen.